In this video, we're gonna talk about how to recruit more leaders in your team. This is the A&P, the Association of Network Marketing Professionals, and I'm gonna share some stats with you that were shared at this event by industry veterans and also by another seven-figure earner. So what's interesting is there's a gentleman, he's been in this industry over 50 years. His name is Larry Thompson. He's an amazing, amazing man. If you haven't heard of him, gotta look him up. He shares some stats and you know what? There's another person brand new to the industry, but already crushing it, seven-figure earner, Anthony Napolitano. And you know what? They shared the same stats. And what's interesting is how somebody who has 50 years of experience and somebody who's got only a few years of experience but has had a ton of success, how they can have the same numbers. Now, let me share with you what those are. And it revolves around the 80-20 rule. We've all heard of the 80-20 rule. What's the 80-20 rule? It is that 20% of the people produce 80% of the results and 80% of the people produce 20% of the results. Well, you might be thinking, Summer, how can that be? How is this possible, right? And, and, and what does this have to do with leaders? Well, trust me, I'm gonna bring it all down, bring it all down for you and circle this thing home. So here's the deal. 80% is pretty self-explanatory, okay? 80% of the people that come into our industry are basically here, they are a glorified consumer. They came in for the discount, they came in because they wanted to support you. They came in because um, they like the culture, they like the community, they like what you have going on. But at the end of the day, they're just kind of chilling. They're hanging out, they came to the meeting and they're eating the cookies and that's all good for them, right? They're here for other reasons rather than lighting it up and building a business, okay? So you as the leader of your team, you need to know this because the 8%, that's the masses, right? And so a couple of things in regards to that. One, we need to love on them. Okay, you run with the runners, you walk with the walkers, and you love on the people that are just here for the culture and the cookies, okay? They need to feel that they're at home, they need to feel they're in a good spot, and, and not have a leader that's like, why are you doing this? I thought you wanted financial freedom! Get out there and go! If you only talked to three people in the last three months, how are you gonna build a business, right? Like, they don't need any of that, okay? I'm just letting you know, because once you understand culture, it feeds into the bigger picture of everything, and it helps you with retention, in your organization, it also helps you have more people winning and making money. All right, so that's the first part, the 80% that's the masses, okay? Second part is this 20%. Okay, if we know that this 20% is going to produce 80% of the results, where are these people and who are they? <laughs> well, this 20% is gonna actually get divided up into two groups, okay? The first group is the 15% and then the 5%, okay? 15 and five. So 15%, of the people that come into our industry, they're there, they're in it to win it. Like they are ready to build a business. They want to replace their income. They are looking to make a few thousand dollars a month. They are looking to, you know, pay off their house, retire their spouse, you know, any of those kind of things, right? And so like they're doing the deed that gets it done. They're the ones that show up to every conference call. They're the ones that show up to every Zoom. They're the ones that you know already got their convention ticket, right? That's these guys, all right? Then we've got the 5%, who are the 5%? Those are the ones you're looking for. Those are the rock stars. Those are the leaders. Those are the ones that come in and before you know it, they're at the top of your compensation plan and you're like, oh, what just happened? <laughs> That's who we want. So how do we get more of these people? You gotta stack the numbers in your favor. You never know who it's going to be. Oftentimes you can bring in a rock star, but many more times you're gonna, spawn, you're gonna find them in depth in your organization. Okay, so what's the difference? We have whip and we have depth. Whip are the people that you personally bring in Depth are the people that come from those people who now you are the leader to, right? Like they don't know you. All they know is you are the leader. You are the head of the organization. You are the one making it happen, right? And so like, they're gonna have a ton of respect for you. They don't know you super well, but they're like, okay, if you tell me what to do, I'm gonna go do it, right? And so that's how we build this out. Now, if you studied your own at all, right? In the beginning, you gotta make up in numbers what you lack in skill, okay? So what does that mean? That means if you're not too good at picking these people out of the barrel, we're gonna have to focus on the whole number. We gotta make up a number, so we're gonna have to go get 100 so that we end up with 15 and five in your business, okay? But here's the thing, over time, you get better. And the better you get, the less people you have to sponsor to build a large organization. And I'm gonna share, you, share with you exactly what happened for us. So in the beginning, now I've been doing this since 2001, so it's been a few years for me in network marketing. <laughs> and here's the thing, 
When I first got started, I was a hairdresser. My husband was a metal grinder. And thanks to this amazing industry, we learned to make more in a month than we made in a whole year. And, and that didn't happen overnight. It was a process, right? So how did that happen? We had to go through the numbers. We had to get better. You know, I had to work on me so that I could then be a better leader for my team. Okay. And the same thing will happen for you as you're building. And so what happens over time is as you start going through the process, as you start getting the group, as you start establishing a system for your organization, now everything starts to click better. Like you get a better feel after dealing with, you know, hundreds or even thousands of people, like you get a better feel for who's going to do what, who's going to be a big mouth frog that talks and talks and talks, and who's going to come in, put their head down and get it done. Right. And so you get better at just getting to the 5%. And so I'll just share with you what happened for us. We focus on quality because when you focus on quality, that can bring quantity. So we brought in 140 people over a few years, paying nothing crazy, a couple people a month. We worked with those people, but those 140 turned into a team of over 80,000. How is that possible? <laughs> a couple of things. One, we knew how to get to the 5% faster. How do we know how to get to the 5% faster? We got better, okay? I mean, we just got better. That's the only, way, that's the only thing I can tell you. Now you can get better over time by trial and error, or you can shortcut your learning curve by learning from somebody who's done, okay? And that's a great thing. <laughs> and then the second thing is that we had duplication, okay? You can't, there's no conceivable way that anybody can go from 140 to 80,000 without having duplication in a system in place. And so now the good news too is that this has worked multiple, multiple times, okay? So it wasn't a one-time hit, okay? Uh, multiple times we've done this. Multiple times we started with a new company and went to the top of their compensation plan. And so if you're like, yeah, I'm all for getting to the top, let me just get there one time first. <laughs> uh, if you'd like to know more about the exact system that we use, then I have a special treat for you. I actually have a training that's gonna be coming up here shortly and we are gonna be breaking everything down A to Z. So I will drop the link down below. I'd love to invite you to join me and I think it will be a great, uh, a great learning experience. Get your pen, get your notepad, and let's rock it out. Take care, be blessed, and I'll see you soon in the training.